Imagine you have an accident and need a new liver to survive. Would you like to receive it? Would I like to receive? Yeah. If it's what it takes for me to survive, then sure. Yeah, I would. Sure. Well, yeah. No. I, I think I would say yes, but I also, um, it feels a little bit like a trick question right now. <laughs> Are you an organ donor? Uh, yes, I am an organ donor. I think so, yeah. I would like to receive it as well, so if I don't want to, like, I can't receive it if I can't give it. No. Uh, no, I have not signed up to be an organ donor myself. But I will probably say the same thing as everyone else. It's one of those things where you... Like, never got the chance to? Which is really terrible to say, actually. <laughs> so I am not an organ donor, and I also don't like to receive one. In my religion, it's the way you get into this life, you also get out of this life. And it's sometimes hard for me to stand my ground, because I can understand why it's actually helpful. Yeah, I think it's important to help where I can. Uh, for me, it's not important that I uh, buried with all my organs. I, d I don't care. When I'm not here, I'm not here. <laughs> At the end of 2021, 389 people in Denmark were waiting for an organ donation. How does this make you feel? A little bad. <laughs> Terrible. How many did you say? It's a lot more people than I thought it would be. If, if that was me. Just waiting. That, that would be awful. I wouldn't want that. So I'm, I'm feeling good about my choice to be a donor. Are you going to sign up to be an organ donor now? I would probably say yes. I would probably do it, yeah, sure. But I'm not sure if I... Like I'm serious. Would I, I would do it. Do it like right away, right now. I don't know what's keeping me back actually. <laughs> Imagine you have an That's it. That was it? Ah, oh, fuck. Okay. <laughs> well, seriously, I, w I would do it.